Welcome back, ChemStars, to your Chapter 8 video notes. Um, first page you should have done in class as demos. Um, you should have already watched video 1, which covered pages 2, 3, and 4. And so that brings us to page 5 for video 2. So now we're going to start learning about the types of different chemical reactions. There's five main types that we're going to learn about, being synthesis, decomposition, single replacement, double replacement, and then we're also going to add on one more combustion. There are more than this, um, these few types of reactions. You'll learn more about them if you take AP Chem. So let's start with our synthesis reaction. So a synthesis reaction is where two reactants become one product, so where two individuals become one new thing. Often, when the reactants are all elements, or one or both are covalent compounds, you will get this synthesis reaction. So I'm going to go through and show you some examples. We'll balance them, and we'll look at um, the cues that we are dealing with the synthesis reaction. Let's look at these examples right here. So number one, we have H2 plus O2. Well, there's nothing that can change or swap or do anything besides come together and make water. So is this reaction balanced? We got two hydrogen here, two hydrogen here. That seems okay, but look at the oxygen. Two here, only one here. I can't all of a sudden just destroy an oxygen, so I've got to balance this by putting a coefficient in front. When I did that, that just fixed my oxygen problem, but now I've got a new hydrogen problem. So let's fix that there. Now let's read through four hydrogen, four hydrogen, one oxygen, two water. So if I'm going to read this through as a reaction, two hydrogen molecules plus one oxygen molecule will yield or will produce two water molecules. So that arrow, we can read that as yield, or we could also read that as produces or makes. Here's another example. Um, this is like what happens if you have a soda stream or if you worked in a restaurant um, where you have to like refill the cartridges in like the pop machine. So if we take carbon dioxide and we force it into water, we will get a new product called carbonic acid. This is carbonic acid. So is this one balanced? We have carbon dioxide, so here's one carbon, one carbon, two oxygen, but don't forget this one right here, that's three. So there's three oxygen there, that looks good, H2, H2. This one's nice, all just one. And then we have a third type of synthesis where we take a metal oxide plus water and we will always get a metal hydroxide. These are your three general forms. Make sure you're familiar with that. So is this one balanced though? Hmm. We see an OH here, nothing else. What might be helpful is looking here, how many oxygen, there's one, but here there's one that gives me two, and here's two hydrogen. So this one actually is already all balanced. We just need to put some ones in front. So remember, when we're looking at a synthesis reaction, two things are becoming one. So the clue is that there are two reactants and only one product, and there's three kind of types. There's the simple one, where it's just elements. We have the more complicated one, where we form an acid. And then we have the metal oxide and water becoming metal hydroxides. So the opposite of synthesis is pretty much decomposition. And that's going to be where one reactant becomes two products. So we have a couple here and they break up into two individuals. So if we go back to our dictionary definition, to decompose means to break up. You could maybe say to break down. Or you can say maybe to break apart. So however you want to say that, but it's the compound is breaking up, breaking down, breaking apart. One thing becomes multiple things. So here's that general equation. So something that's together will break up into its constituent parts. So here's a couple of examples. If we have mercury 2 oxide, it's going to break up. If there's only one reactant, it's going to break up into its parts, mercury plus oxygen. So let's see if this is balanced. Nope. So we got two here. Let's put a two over there, a two here, and a one. Water. Only thing water can break into is um, H2 and O2, but I got to balance that. We'll actually do this one in lab if you haven't done that um, reaction lab already. And then we have um, hydrogen iodide. It's going to break up into H2 and I2. I got to put a one in front. So that's one type of decomposition. There's a couple other types we'll look at. So for example, we might also have the decomposition of a metal chlorate. Um, this part won't be on the written part of your test. You might see a multiple choice on it though. So here is what you will always get. The metal chlorate 
chlorate is a polyatomic and it will always break down into chloride plus oxygen. So you need to be able to recognize that type. So here we have C, um, KClO3 yields KCl plus O2. Let's try and balance that one as well. It looks like oxygen is going to be the problem. We see a 3 and a 2. That's a good clue. We want to go to 6. Let's put a 3 in front. Let's two, put a 2 in front. Yep, that gives me 6 oxygen, but I need a 2 there to balance the rest of that out. So if potassium chlorate makes potassium chloride plus oxygen, what will calcium chlorate do? The exact same thing. We'll get calcium chloride plus oxygen. Now this one, let's see how it's balanced here. We have um, two chlorines, two chlorines. I've got six oxygen right here. This one's nice. I can just put a three and then everything else should be balanced. Okay, we've got one more. Aluminum carbonate gives you aluminum chloride and oxygen. I want you to pause the video and try and balance this one yourself real quick. Did you try that trick I taught you before? So when you're looking at it, did you see, okay, I got one aluminum, I've got three chlorine, that's good. But right here, I've got nine oxygen. Well, how can I get nine oxygen right here? Just put a four and a half in front. That's a good quick um, cheat to do, but remember, we can't leave any halves there. So we'll have to go through and double everything to get a whole number ratio. So there's that one balanced. And we've got one last type of decomposition we're gonna cover, decomposition of metal carbonates. So kind of similar to the metal chlorates, we have that oxygen there. So the metal carbonates will always give us a metal oxide plus carbon dioxide gas. Let's go through a couple of those examples. So if we have nickel two carbonate, we're gonna get nickel two oxide plus carbon dioxide. Is this one balanced? Let's see, one nickel, one nickel, one carbon, one carbon, three oxygen, three oxygen. Oh, look at that, beautiful. Let's look at sodium carbonate. It will break down into sodium oxide plus carbon dioxide. Is this one balanced? Two sodium, two sodium, one carbon, one carbon, three oxygen right here, and look, three oxygen right there. Good, the law of conservation of mass is upheld. All we gotta do is put some ones in front. And then we got one more. Ooh, this one does not look like it's balanced though. So we have aluminum carbonate. So when that decomposes, it will break down into aluminum oxide plus carbon dioxide two aluminums, that looks promising. Now here we can see right away we've got three carbons. So that's gonna tell me I've gotta put a three in front. So I've taken care of my aluminum, taken care of my carbon. Let's check the oxygen numbers. We have nine oxygen here. We have three times two, we have six oxygen here. And look, we got three oxygen there. So we actually have our nine oxygen. Everything else took care of itself. Okay, so that was kind of a quick video, but that was just introducing you to your um, basic types of decomposition, your metal carbonate, your metal chlorate, um, the simple um, binary decomposition, and also the synthesis composition or synthesis reaction. Our next video, we'll look at identifying single and double replacements. Bye, guys.